Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech, back with another video. Because many have asked over the past few months why or how I achieve great performance results, whether in benchmarks or games like Genshin Impact, whenever testing this iPhone 12 Pro Max or the iPhone 11, I decided to make this video to help those in question and really provide information on what I believe will drastically improve your iPhone or Android device when it comes to gaming or work performance experience. However, before discussing these details, I wanted to quickly announce the winner of the GameSir F8 Pro Snowgun Cooling Grip. As usual, I use YouTube Comment Picker website to randomly pick the winner amongst all those who commented on that video. And congratulations to the winner. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and privately message me your shipping information so I can send this to you ASAP. Please subscribe and stay tuned for my iPhone 12 Pro giveaway I will announce later this month. With that being said, let's talk about how to improve your iPhone or Android device. Starting with storage, having insufficient storage space will drastically affect the performance of your device. When the storage is almost full on your device, you might notice your device becoming significantly slower. This is primarily due to the operating system not having enough space to work and therefore will cause performance throttling and software errors. Based on my own research, I've noticed that when my device has lower than 10 gigabytes of storage, I start to notice performance problems. However, I try and keep at least 25 gigabytes of storage free at all times for future proofing due to constant iOS updates as well as software updates. You'll be surprised how easily your storage will get consumed by software updates. Overall, limited storage will severely limit your device's performance. Nevertheless, another area that may affect the performance of your device is the operating system, or in other words, OS version you have installed on your device. Now, if you remember, I made a video a few months ago pointing out the various performance bugs found in iOS 14.5 Point one. And thankfully, this was fixed in iOS 14.6, but with this being said, updating to the newest OS version doesn't always mean performance improvements. In fact, like any software company, at times, mistakes happen and Apple or Google may release a bugged OS update. Therefore, I do encourage to always wait for tech reviewers such as myself to test out the performance of these OS updates as well as look for potential software bugs before updating your device. On the other side of the coin, I've also seen some people experience performance issues when updating to an OS software beta. You must remember that it's called beta for a reason. There will be performance bugs, and I highly advise not to update your device to an OS beta version if you do not have a backup device. Moving on, automatic updates and background applications can also definitely restrict the performance of your device. The OS on your smartphone is known to run processes in the background to make your life easier. Thus, if not turned off, apps will update themselves in the background and this process does occupy your device's CPU and battery. So if you're trying to keep your device's performance top notch, I do encourage to disable this feature and update apps manually. And while you're at it, I also encourage you to turn off background app refresh. This process will refresh the content of applications you have in the background. For example, your Instagram or Twitter will continually update its feed so that whenever you go back to that application, the content will remain up to date without you having to refresh. This process also occupies the CPU and therefore will affect performance. Personally, I encourage to just close all of the applications in the background when you desire optimal performance for your device. Now let's talk about location services feature in your phone. Many people don't realize, but location services actually eats up your battery life as well as affects the performance. Location service will allow apps to continually request and track your location through GPS for user convenience. This process does occupy the CPU and therefore will affect the performance of your device. Thus, it's best to turn off location services or adjust settings so it will only work on certain applications. With that being said, let's also talk about VPN. As it pertains to installed applications, 
Sadly, VPN softwares typically slow down your device due to having to connect to another network before connecting to the internet to help protect your device or gain access. I've tested many VPN softwares and sadly, all of them affected the performance of my device. Some minor, but others major. VPN softwares will affect your internet or connection speed and therefore, I'd avoid VPN applications if you're desiring to have peak performance for your device. Last but not least, ambient temperature also makes a huge difference with the performance of your device. Heat is one of the major issues for many electronic devices. High temperatures can negatively impact the battery, CPU, and GPU as high heat can cause damage to these components and negatively impact their performance. For example, Apple has put on their website that anything over 35 Celsius may cause performance issues. Personally, based on my testing, I noticed that 37 to 38 Celsius is actually when the iPhone starts to throttle heavily and performance is limited. Thus, when ambient temps are high, it's a lot easier for your device to reach these temperatures when doing demanding tasks like gaming, camera work, or video rendering. I personally keep my ambient temperature around 25 to 26 Celsius when conducting performance tests. However, for those that live in areas that has higher ambient temperatures, I do advise buying a phone cooler if you're gaming or doing continuous video work as this will definitely improve the integrity and lifespan of your device. Make sure to check out my Black Shark Magnetic Cooler and GameSir Cooling Grip videos if you're considering picking up a cooling accessory for your device. In conclusion, these are the main six things that I've noticed negatively impact the performance of my devices. Hopefully this video was informative and helpful for those wanting to improve the performance of their device. If you've made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe notification button to stay tuned for more informational videos like this. Again, congratulations to the winner of the GameSir Cooling Grip giveaway, and please stay tuned for the iPhone 12 Pro giveaway that I'll announce later this month. Please stay safe, take care, and see you next time.